Hey everyone, Loxy here, welcome back. Today's video is a frustrated vent with relaxing imagery that belies my true feelings in this video. I'm just sick of the job market, y'all. It's stupid, it's tiring. I've applied for over 300 jobs so far this year and have no prospects. Now you may be asking yourself, are you doing something wrong, Loxy? I mean, it's possible, but it's not likely just because I'm not the only one experiencing this. Far from it, actually. Um, it's actually insane how many people have similar stories to mine where they need to apply to hundreds of jobs before receiving an offer. Like, 300 is actually rookie numbers compared to what some of these folks have had to do. 600, 700 job applications before receiving a single offer. It's really stupid. And I've seen so many people on social media and forums complaining and asking, what the F is this job market right now? Like, we're all confused. And I don't really think it's the fault of the applicants. Far from it. It's really mostly that companies. Studies show that a lot of companies who say they're hiring actually aren't. They post fake roles on their website to make it seem like they're growing faster than they are, but they have absolutely no intention of filling those roles, which is stupid, right? For these companies, you rarely hear back if you do apply um, to them, but if you do, it's usually something stupid like, we've closed the roles, we're taking the company in a different direction. That's my favorite one, we're taking the company in a different direction, and so on. And they never say they've actually filled the role, and sometimes when you visit their site months later, that role is still active on there. And another crap thing that these companies are doing is lying about the role. Like, I'm a remote worker, I've been a remote worker for over four years, I've never had issues finding remote work either. By the way, I was a remote worker before the thing happened in 2020, and a lot of other people went remote. Um, I was remote before that, and even through the summer of 2022, I had no trouble finding clients and work. Something changed in late 2022, and I'll just I'll talk about my, my suspicions on that later. But yeah, a lot of companies lie about the role. They market it as remote. Everywhere on the job listing it says remote, but when you go to submit your app, you'll get a pop-up that asks you to confirm that you understand the role is in person or that it's hybrid. Or companies will write in big letters remote in the job title, but when you dig to the bottom of the job description, it says in office. So they're literally straight up lying. And I think these are the ones that frustrate me the most because they're not even trying. They're just lying to have their job listing seen by more people, but to what end? If someone is looking for remote work, that's what they want. They won't compromise on that. So why lie? You're not going to get good candidates that way anyway. Uh, so they're wasting their time. They're wasting the applicant's time. Everyone's time is wasted when you straight up freaking lie like that. And speaking of lying, I've noticed that more in the past couple of months than I did earlier this year, but companies lie about the pay. Again, with the big bold letters, they'll list the pay and the job title, but when you dig into the description, it's half of what they say in the title, and how did, I don't even know how that makes sense. Like, why lie um, when you know someone is looking for like $40 an hour, they're not going to compromise to 20 Like, why waste everyone's time? I know that they want their job to be seen by more people, and they want more people to apply to the job, but if none of those applicants are going to convert into an employee, you're just wasting everyone's time, and it's stupid, it's frustrating. Um, and I'll just be saying stupid a lot more before this video is done. Just so much of this crap just doesn't make sense, and it is, in fact, stupid. And somewhat related to lying, a lot of job posts are scams, like a lot. I think at least half of the posts I see on a daily basis, which sometimes I look at up to 100 job listings a day, are scams. Like even on reputable, your reputable sites like LinkedIn, most of the jobs are scams. Um, and a lot of them are obvious, spelling errors, things in the job description that don't make sense. The person who posted the job just joined the site that day. It's easy to filter out about 99% of the scams. But then there's the scams that just lie. Like, they literally lie. They'll post a job title, description, etc. that has nothing to do with the scammy nature of the business. And a lot of them even go so far as to make their own website for their fake company. It's insane. And I have applied to a few scam jobs. I think three out of the 300 plus that I've applied to have been scams that have gotten back to me. And the emails make it incredibly clear that it's a scam. For the ones that I've applied to where the job description seems legit, the correspondence afterwards makes it clear it's a scam, which is still frustrating. Like, for anyone wanting to know, the easiest way to know if a job is a scam, the first thing is they'll rarely have an interview process. They'll typically email you and say, you've got the job. Sometimes they'll say what your pay is, and it's usually ridiculously high for little work. Like, oh, you're going to make $10,000 a month for 20 hours a week or 20 hours a month, which sounds like a dream, but it is in this case. It's not, it's not factual. 
Um, so my advice is if you're not sure even after receiving an email um, and you really just want confirmation, ask what the interview and hiring process is like. Legitimate companies will have a process and they won't be afraid to let you know what the steps are. And some may even appreciate that you're asking the, what their process is, that you're taking the time to ask that. But a scam job won't even reply every single time. I've asked, help me get an understanding of your interview and hiring process. They've ghosted. No more correspondence from those people. So those you just kind of have to move on from, but scam jobs make job hunting harder than it needs to be because you have to filter through the crap just to find the legitimate jobs. And from there, you need to filter out the ones who are lying and it's utterly exhausting. And it didn't used to be like this. I've actually never seen anything like this, or at least this bad, prior to 2023. Like, I've seen scam jobs and jobs that lie, but never to this high of a degree or to such extremes. Um, another somewhat minor complaint of mine is that a lot of job descriptions are clearly written by AI. And I'm talking there's no evidence of a human's touch to some of these job descriptions. There's a lot of legitimate companies with legitimate jobs that end up with the same few generic paragraphs of crap at the start of their job description because it was written by AI. Some later sentences too. Um, there's been times when I've literally seen a verbatim job description from multiple companies and I'm assuming it's because they all use the same AI to write it because it's the same job title. And those jobs aren't being posted by recruiters or staffing agencies, which I have seen um, where recruiters and staffing agencies tend to use generic job descriptions for similar titles or the same titles for a lot of their clients. But that's not what this is. These are companies clearly using AI to just like not and then just like not vetting or reviewing it before throwing the job out into the universe. And I don't usually apl bother applying to those jobs anymore. Like if you can't be bothered to take the time to at least review what an AI wrote to represent a job for your company, what other corners are you cutting? And how will that affect me were I to accept an employment offer from you? And I just don't think that would be good. That's for sure. Um, I, I do think that AI is a useful tool and it can be helpful, but I think the way a lot of these companies are using them in the hiring process is hurtful to both the company and the applicants, because not only are the companies using AI to write their job descriptions, but they're also using it to filter out applicants. I received at least 30 or 40 job rejections from companies, so you know, about 10% of my total um, application sent in. I've received rejections from companies that have told me I'm not qualified for the role when my resume lists verbatim what they're looking for for the role I applied to. And like my resume shows the verbatim job title that they're looking for as well. Like literally you go down my resume and read off my job duties and is verbatim what the company wants for their job with the same title. And yet I get an automated email saying I'm not qualified for the role. Clearly. Like no human actually reviewed my resume, some crappy system did, and it failed really hard. Um, and I actually spoke to a C-suite person about that same thing this week, um, and they said they've been rejected from jobs for the same reason, like crappy AI filtering. Um, and just how many good applicants are companies missing out on because they relied on a computer to tell them who was qualified it just doesn't seem like a good idea in general. Because like I said, AI can be and is a useful tool, but not for this. You're dealing with real people and you're working with real people, right? Like the hiring manager, the people you'll be working with are people. And the people applying to the job are people. Wouldn't it make sense to have more of a human or people touch to the hiring process of a human, which is done by humans? It just seems ridiculous. Like I get filtering through resumes is a huge pain, but that's why the best resumes are quick snapshots. That's what executive summaries are for, to make it easier. But instead, companies use AI and they kill their chances of finding the best candidate and instead likely get a list of somewhat mediocre candidates that they may not even like because that's what the computer gave them. That's what the computer told them were the best candidates. Um, and that's another reason why I think having more of a human touch to the hiring process is important. I think the best thing about interviews is getting a sense of one another. If you don't like the person you're interviewing or if you don't like the person who's interviewing you, there's no need to go further. But you can't get a sense as to whether or not you like someone when a computer is telling you who to pick. And just that human touch, that human engagement and interaction at work is unavoidable. It's, you know, we all deal with it at work pretty much all day, every day. I guess if you're a coder, you know, there's a few jobs, you know, pet groomer and that sort of thing where you may not be dealing with face to face with people all day, every day. But you get my point. You're, you're engaging with people. You're dealing with people. You shouldn't, may, maybe, maybe you shouldn't be relying on a computer to tell you which of those people you should be working with based on 
like an algorithm or like what's written on a piece of paper, um, or at least not entirely, because you have to make sure that your personalities meld and that sort of thing as well. But anyway, um, <laughs> so last topic of my event, like why is this happening? Like I've been complaining a lot, but I do have some suspicions as to why it has been difficult, particularly in 2023. Now remember, I mentioned earlier, um, up through spring of 2022, I never had an issue finding remote work and well, I quit looking for remote work in summer 2022 because I was happy with my job situation. Everything looked great. And I was also going to be having a baby in a few months. So I didn't really see a purpose in, you know, taking on more clients or anything at that time. And pretty much right then is when things started blowing up. Interest rates started spiking. Uh, Silicon Valley Bank didn't collapse until earlier in 2023, but there were whisperings about it since the fall of 2022. A lot of VC funding dried up around that time. A lot of people quit putting their money out there for businesses um, as capital raises due to the spiking interest rates and for some, the rumors swirling around SVB. Now, I largely work in the startup and small business world where venture capital funding is massively important. SVB is, or at least was, synonymous with startups. Um, I, I don't want to get into all of that like a whole lot, but I think it's the reason why the job market became so difficult for people in my position and for people with similar positions to mine. And so like, thanks Fed, thanks for spiking interest rates with the stupid thought that it would be, that, that it would be good for cooling spending and calming inflation. And it's just like, you actually screwed crap up way more by doing that. It's like, what a dumb decision. Um, and honestly, that could be event all on its own, but seriously, um, I have gone on long enough and I'm feeling slightly vindicated now, I guess, after this event. Um, and you know, I'm not happy. I won't be happy again until my job situation is stabilized, but just this job market is stupid for so many reasons. And it could be better if companies just quit lying. That's like the big thing. Um, even with the interest rates and SVB collapse thing, the companies that are hiring could be making the job field at least slightly better by just not being dumb. Just, I don't know, guys, I'm just frustrated and wanting to vent. Um, I hope that if anyone else is job hunting right now that you're faring better than me and if you're faring the same as me or even worse, um, I hope that things improve for you and all of us really soon. Um, so that'll do it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself.